the evolution of software development reached greater heights in recent times. The current IT industries demand the most efficient and updated software development skill set in the market, and there is no better way than to upgrade your skills. Hey everyone, welcome to yet another exciting video from Simply Learn. In this session, we will be discussing how to improve logic building skills in programming. However, before we begin with the session, make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, let's take a look at the ways that we are going to discuss in this session. We bought you the top 10 tips that will help you improve your logic building skills and they are as follows. The first one is practice from basics. Followed by that, we have consistency in learning. Next, we have the paper and pen approach. Up next, we have run the program or code. Later, we have learn data structures and algorithm concepts. On the next sixth step, we have step-by-step -step approach. Next after that, on the seventh stage, we have to follow the programmers communities. Next we have solve some questions. Then we have learning from the feedbacks of other developers. Finally, having some projects for the portfolios. We will discuss each one of these points in detail. First, let's discuss about practice from the basics. The first one is practice for the basics. When we start programming, we start with an easy problem for some resources and then move on to the next level. These cover all concepts and provide you with the idea of learning. The next step on practicing from the basics is develop new and creative ideas on moving further. Practice enough on several questions from easy level. Then. Move on to the intermediate level questions and try to solve some variety of questions on this level. Then proceed to the complex problems. On the next step of practicing from the basics, we have built knowledge and get experience in development. When we try practicing in this manner, it is better to gain knowledge on coding and get experience over programming. Now we have finished the first stage. Let's move on to the next stage where we have consistency in learning. So the first step in the second stage is consistency helps to get more command in learning. It is popular saying that practice makes a man perfect. We often take up a challenge to solve a question and then discontinue in the middle after some days. This should not be happening. In the second step, we have improved the ability to gain knowledge. Practicing consistency will help a lot in overall logic building process. And also, other than that, it improves and helps to gain more knowledge. The third step, increase the development speed and logic building. Practicing consistently also improves the development speed and also helps in building confidence levels in programming. Now, we have finished with the second stage. Let's move on to the third stage where we have pen and paper. So the first step in the third stage is representing helps to solve problems quite easily. Representing on paper will help you in writing the code and improve your programming skills in a better way. Trial and error methodologies are much easier to implement on paper before applying the final solutions through computers. The second step, it also improves the knowledge and logic building. When we see any problem, we generally start coding on our IDE. So, when an interviewer asks us to write a code on paper, we fail to do so. Always try to write and implement the code or algorithm of the code before starting on your IDE. Now the third step is, increase the speed of development and building. Whenever you approach a similar problem in the next time, you will be able to recollect more easily. It will also help you in speeding up your development. Now we are done with this stage 3. We have stage 4 now, that is run program or code. So the first step in run program or code is practicing is the key to develop new ideas. One of the best ways to develop logic building in programming is learning data structures concepts and these concepts provide an idea on how to build an algorithm. The second step says running program or a code provides an opportunity to learn the working process. 
Running or coding a program can also help get an idea of working process of the program, which is a significant benefit in building the logic. So the third step is running a program or code helps you build and get more experience over programming. It helps you improve your programming and gets experience in programming and skill up your performance by building confidence levels. So now we are done with stage four. We have stage five that is learn data structures and algorithms concepts. So the first step in learning data structures and algorithms concepts is data structures and algorithms concepts help you build algorithms and logics. One of the best ways to develop logic building in programming is learning data structures concepts. And these concepts provide an idea on how to build an algorithm. So the second step in learning data structures and algorithms concepts is develop programming skills in a programmer. So when we can build or implement an algorithm, it is easy to develop programming skills in a person. So now the third step is increase the ability and knowledge of programming. Developing an algorithm provides a good knowledge base and also helps in increasing the development time. Now we are done with the stage five. Let's get on to the stage six. So the stage six is all about step by step approach. So the first step in stage six is provide more clarity and clear understanding. We don't start talking from the day we are born. Similarly, we should not directly jump into learning all the concepts. It is better to keep a step-by-step -step approach like a procedure. We should go from basic to advanced level questions. It provides more clarity and clear understanding. Sometimes people solve a lot of easy questions from all the sides, but they are not able to solve medium level questions. Instead, make a balance of these levels. Next helps think logically and have the complete idea. Step-by-step -step approach helps in clearing the coding tests and gives an opportunity to build the skills in a person. Now we are done with the stage six. Let's get into the stage seven. That is programmers community. Find various questions and their logics. We often get bored while solving the problems all by ourselves with no one to teach or guide us. Through the programmer's community, we can get an opportunity to find various questions and solve them in a better way. Or it may also happen that you know the problem solution and you may guide someone else as well. Now, the second step is clean and clear explanation for better ideas. Solving various questions seriously will help you to get more complete idea of the working process and development process of a program, which is a benefit in building logic in you. Now the last step is it improves logic with various development techniques. Programmers communities help you build confidence in you and provide an opportunity to develop more skills. So far we are done with stage seven. Now we enter the stage eight, which is about solving questions. So the first step in stage eight is solving questions will help you improve your ability to work on different questions. If you want to build and develop logic skills, you must try solving as many questions as possible. It provides an opportunity to work on various types of problems and solve them. Now the second step is, it gives you a complete idea of the program and development. Solving questions will seriously help you get a complete idea of the working process and development process of a program, which is a benefit in building logic in you. Now the third step. Solving questions will help you or provide an opportunity to develop more skills. It also builds confidence in you and provides an opportunity to develop more skills. Now we're done with stage eight. Let's enter stage nine that is about learning from feedbacks. The first step in learning from feedbacks is identify the mistakes and improve the ideas. One of the best ways to improve knowledge and build logic is learning from feedback. When you implement or develop any program, you must go for a second opinion or feedback. And once you go through a feedback, it helps you to identify mistakes and avoid them in the future. The next step is develop the debugging skills and improve logical skills. So learning from feedbacks help you build debugging skills and improve more command on the programming language. Now the third step, learning from feedback helps you improve the development speed and knowledge. When we try to know the mistake that we have made previously, it helps you get an idea over programming. It increases the development speed and builds more logic. Now we are done with stage nine and we have the last stage that is stage 10, 
projects. So the first step in projects is working on projects provides and helps you build ideas. One of the most important things that a beginner or an experienced person should follow to get better at programming logic is to do projects. Working on some real life projects will give you an exposure and experience to become better at programming. The second step is it improves the ability and development speed. You can make any small application or if you're an experienced person, then you can build some complex or big projects. It improves your skills and build logic in your personality. You also get an idea of how the workflow of creating a project goes on. Finally, develop creative and logical skills. When you work on a project, you need to solve a big problem by breaking it into smaller steps. This helps you to improve your logic building skills and creativity levels. And with that, we have come to an end of this session on how to improve logic building skills in programming. We hope the session was informative and interesting. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below. Our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.